Now the Mud Hens returned to fifth third field this week for another home series. We're joined by the voice of the Toledo Mud Hens, Matt Melzak. Matt, a rough go of it in Indy. They did get one win, but the Hens, after winning the first two, have lost eight of their last nine. Yeah, a tough streak going in the wrong direction right now, Claire. And a lot of those games, especially the ones we saw in Indy, very close affairs, could have very easily went the Mud Hens way. Uh, sometimes early in the season, some things don't click for you. Hopefully by getting back here at home, all of a sudden things will start to go and work in the right direction for the Mud Hens. And, you know, baseball is a game kind of, of streaks and runs and things of that nature that happen. And right now, unfortunately, the Hens on a tough streak to start the season, but there's still a lot of baseball to be played. On both Saturday and Sunday, it looked like the Hens were going to compile a fourth win of the season. It just didn't go their way. No, it certainly didn't. Uh, you know, just and and it was in different ways to to lose the, the baseball games. That's the tricky part when you look at you look at Saturday and it looked like okay, everything's come through right. They came back, they've tied it, taken the lead, and then all of a sudden you lose, and that and that just uh, it it just puts you in that sad. Oh man, I can't believe we lost this game. And then you come out Sunday and you start red a hot, boom, five run first inning, everything looks great. Indy comes right back with the four run second inning and now all of a sudden you're on, you're biting your nails the rest of the way. What in the world is gonna happen here? And it ends up uh, falling apart for Toledo in the eighth inning and they end up losing the game. So, uh, you know, it's one of those, you know, tricky parts that you just are like, they're so close and it's just a play or two away here and there to get a victory. What are some of the things you think they've taken away from these last, well, these last six games in Indy that kind of will set them up for hopefully some wins this week against Columbus? Well, I think the fact that you're in every ball game, it's not like they were going out and every pitcher was getting dominated. They're getting run over. They're losing, you know, it's six, seven, nothing. And the game's over early. Uh, they had chances to win each and every game in the series. They only won one, but they had a chance to win and an opportunity was in front of them to win. And as Roles get defined in the bullpen and, you know, guys come through with hits, uh, you know, that those things turn around. It's just uh, the hope is that it turns around quicker than, you know, you don't want to you don't want to dig such a hole that it's going to be so difficult to climb out of. But, you know, those things will turn around as things start to develop over the course of the season. They just it's the way baseball is. It, it just is. Plenty of home runs from the Hens so far this season. On the flip side, unfortunately, quite a few hit against. I think 24 given up home runs in their 11 contests. What do you attribute that to? You know what? It has been a bugaboo of the pitching staff so far in the early going is the home runs. I know it's undue, uh, undone Matt Manning a couple of times in his starts. Just that long ball can be very tricky. And, and a team like Indy doesn't hit a lot of them, but they did this week. Uh, you know, most of them have been solo shots, uh, which, you know, okay, you're limiting the damage there, but it is cause for alarm because they're at the top part of the league and home runs allowed uh, going into this home series against a team that can normally hit a lot of home runs in Columbus. We'll see what they're able to do this week uh, when the Hens take on them at fifth, third field. But it is a, a cause for concern, the long balls, because it did bite Toledo a little bit. Jason Foley gave up one that tied the game in the eighth inning on Sunday with a one-run lead. Those things can come back to haunt you, especially if you're going to give up with, with home runs with men on base. So it's something that Toledo's got to continue to get better at, their pitching staff. They've got the guys there. They all throw hard, which is sometimes a bit of an issue because if you barrel it up, a lot of times the power's already been supplied by the pitcher. Baseball can go a long way. It was surprising to see how many home runs were actually hit between the two teams in Indianapolis. That's usually not a hitter's park as for home runs. Uh, but there were a lot over the last week. And some of that is the fact that we're in the early part of the season, too. Pitchers are trying to throw more strikes. You're going to see more balls put in play, and that can also lead to more home runs.